The well, COVID vaccine has been widely available for about a month now, and new data from the state shows vaccination rates by zip code, revealing some places are building immunity faster than others. But does that mean those communities are safer? CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Sacramento getting answers from doctors. Anna. Yeah, the doctors will always tell you that we're all safe, that we're all safer when more people get vaccinated. But communities have no way to stay completely isolated from outside risk. How does your neighborhood stack up? Data from state health officials will show the percentage of people in your zip code who are fully vaccinated. In one Rancho Cordova neighborhood, that number is about 63%. Good progress, doctors say, but not on a big enough scale. I think there's enough mixing uh, around that, um, that that it's not just by zip code that we can really have achieve that kind of herd immunity. People live, work, and shop all over the place. Dr. Dean Blumberg with UC Davis says a population needs to be at least 75% vaccinated to really limit COVID-19 transmission and create herd immunity. So could a city achieve that? The answer is kind of. I can't really be definitive about that. At the very least, people living in cities with high rates of full vaccination would be safer. That's what keeps Elk Grove Mayor Bobby Singh Allen motivated. We have the largest school district in Northern California here. According to state data, Elk Grove is about 46% vaccinated. For comparison, nearby West Sacramento is at 34% and Lincoln close to 60%. The more vaccination there is within the city, then it's going to be safer for everybody there, people who live there and people who visit there. Mayor Singh Allen says success in one city like Elk Grove depends on people in the entire county getting vaccinated. We must um, really get out there and get our messages out there, particularly to our low income families in our communities of color. So where are the most? I'm yeah, sorry, Dr. Blum. Go ahead. Yeah, Dr. Blumberg says one of the wild cards with all this is the variants that have been spreading. They spread quickly, and even communities that have high rates of fully vaccinated people would struggle to fight these variants off.